In a recent interview, actress Michelle Yeoh said everything everywhere all at once is the reason she makes movies still. And I say everything everywhere all at once is the reason why I still go to movies. We got a good one here. Let's talk about it. The movie is like five genres compacted together. Action, comedy, drama, thriller. A fifth one that I couldn't think of off the top of my head, but there's definitely more than four. And it also reminded me a lot of my favorite movies jam-packed into one. Kill Bill, The Matrix, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. There's flavors of all of these here. Plus you have some really great slapsticky martial arts akin to a Jackie Chan movie. Or Michelle Yeoh. A woman who's turning 60 this year still did most of her own stunts and looks phenomenal. Her performance in this movie is so good. The crouching tiger actress is back kicking ass again, and with her comes an actor I never honestly thought I would see again. And the fact that I was able to figure out who the guy was after 20 years of not seeing him just shows how much I've watched The Goonies and Indiana Jones. That's right, Short Round is in this. Data's in this baby, he's still rocking a fanny pack. So good seeing him again. Jenny Slate just randomly shows up, plus he got my lady Jamie Lee Curtis in this, playing an IRS inspector. Kind of going outside the norm for her and absolutely sticking the landing. I'm going to do a really broad overview of this plot. Michelle Yeoh plays Evelyn. She's in pretty much a loveless relationship with her husband and they own a laundromat together. She rethinks her choices in life constantly, probably like a lot of us do. It asks you the questions. What if you could do it all over again? What if you had the opportunity to change your life, change the trajectory you're on? Would you take it? Do you regret the life you have chosen to live? And it goes into generational parenting, the baggage you've brought with you from how your parents raised you, how you projected onto your own children, or whether you choose to evolve, to change, to grow as a person. When that happens, how quickly it happens, and if that relative is willing to forgive you, or forget, or move on. This movie's like an R-rated turning red at points too, because we also get the perspective of Joy and how she's dealing with everything going on in her world. How she feels like she doesn't live up to her parents' expectations. She's a disappointment. Is she good enough for her family? Or should she just walk away from it all, disappear into the void? There's tons of layer, tons of great commentary going on, and the way they present it is so creative. I mentioned Scott Pilgrim for a reason. It's fun, it's irreverent, it's quirky. The visuals are both explosive and astonishing in your face. There are some points, I'll warn you, where there's lots of flashing going on. So if that sort of thing gives you, I don't know, a seizure, maybe maybe steer away from this. It only happened twice that were really noticeable. And even I was like, whoa, we might have to, might have to step back for a second, but then it was done perfectly executed. When we start the film, Evelyn's pretty much at her lowest point, just trying to make it through the day to day. And it's at that moment when the multiverse starts to reveal what it is, how it works, and how she can manipulate and engage with other forms of herself from other timelines. It has a bit of that Jet Li's The One. I love that movie. It's so awesome in the dumbest ways possible. Highly recommend The One. Not as much as this though. This movie's just, this is just a great movie. As of right now, this is my favorite movie of 2022. I know we're not that far into it yet, but I have a hard time believing this won't stay in my top three for 2022. Highly recommend it. The action is so good. It's so fun. Like I said, it reminds me of the old Jackie Chan films. Seeing a fully grown up Goonie taking pebbles out of a fish tank, filling his fanny pack with it to use as a weapon is something I never thought I'd see before and absolutely want to see more of. He's whipping it around the neck. He's parkouring over tables, running up stuff. It goes into slow motion here and there. They're fighting with some very unconventional weapons that are both hilarious and a bit unbecoming. And the music is powerful. It lands at all the right moments. Visuals are out of this world. I can't say enough good things about it. Go see this movie. If I could find a hang up, and it's not even a hang up, mind you, is that the film is over two hours. It's two hours and 20 minutes. For some, that's a, that's a no deal. Uh, for me, 
you really have to prove that you're worth that runtime. I got other things to do. Much like Lord of the Rings is three or four hours, depending on what you watch. If I'm invested in these characters and the story, the mission, what they're trying to accomplish, movie can be a day long for all I care as long as you keep me hooked and this did. And to me, it's one of those rare special movies that only comes along every so often, every like five years, that you can go, wow, I'm witnessing something really special right now. All right, there's the high praise. Let me know in the comments if you've seen this yet. Uh, I think it's in select theaters. I had to travel quite a distance just to see it, a, a showing. But if you did, please let me know. Uh, highly recommend it. Like the video if you had a good time. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this. I put out tons of movie related content every week and hopefully I'll see you next time. If nothing more, see this for the Pixar reference. I won't say anything more about it. Just, just know there is some great hilarity involving that. Maybe think about joining me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies or become a member right here on YouTube via that YouTube join button. I really emphasize the T's because I know I don't say button well. It sounds like button. From Minnesota, you just have to deal with it. We're not all perfect commenters. So hit the button and uh, yeah, you can be a member that way as well.